rather be, you know, warmed up? Would you rather be hot coming out of the elimination bracket? Or, you know, would you rather have that advantage uh, and maybe having a, a bit of rest, maybe risking being cold, but being well rested going to the grand finals? I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I think I'd rather be warmed up. You know, it's very hard to match the intensity of tournament play, especially going late into tournament. So may, maybe SSG have the advantage by being down in the lower bracket and being warmed up. I don't know. I think it all depends on how you play on the lead up, right? If you're having close game fives and you're barely scraping your way through, I'd rather have the uh, the cold and have the game advantage. But if you haven't lost a map in three series, uh, you know, I, I think I'd rather just have that momentum with me and uh, say, yeah, we'll, we'll do it and uh, we'll do it in six games. Well, AIDS, you know, lead started here by phase. Space Station Gaming definitely believe in that momentum. I remember it was that, what it was that grand final. They said, don't get up, sit down, stay, stay seated. We got to stay hot right now. They chose not to use their, their restroom break. And they definitely believe that stay, just stay down, keep that energy going and good things will happen. Tied up at 18 apiece right now. As ball ends up being dropped or at least, at least rotated over towards B Street. Legend. Playing that ball as he feels the pressure coming in from phase. Legend takes down Renegade as well on the off screen. That ball just sits in the bottom of the map right now. Uses a bit of bait. Snake by gonna push forward. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Snake by has everyone around him, but oh. somehow Bound doesn't check his corner. Uh oh, it could be devastating. Snake by has the shroud screen, but not able to put it down in time to stay alive. Fall. Going into the hands of Space Station, but it's going to be Renegade that Ooh. shuts it all down. Big double kill from him. Gamma up in 10 seconds. Space going to have their uh, pickings on how to set themselves up. Big time play come out of Renegade to not only put them two down right there, but ends up leading to a three down. It keeps that ball alive. So now SSG have to worry about getting the ball out of the hands of FaZe, uh, out of the hands of FaZe right now. And that camo that was sitting on the mid map. Renegade. However, is forced to play that ball and Legend just flies at him. Now matching that three down go phase and bound with the shotgun with the Bulldog is going to go right out of Royal 2. Fantastic break from Space Station. They, they wasted no time. We're able to get the camouflage right away and cut off the ball rotation quickly in order to get themselves in that scoring position once again. And I love how aggressive Bound is onto these spawners. Yes, it might not come more, uh, with more than one kill, but what he is doing is he's holding Phase Clan back at their base. And it's gonna allow Space Station really to have Bound spawn up and be ready for the fight by the time Phase Clan gets here. Squad spawns do end up coming in as Royal 2 pushes through purple, gets reinforcements, but even the reinforcements not enough, losing the slaves battle. In fact, they end up going forward down without getting a single kill onto SSG right there, not where FaZe wants to be. And now look at the run that's going to happen because of it. 68 to 25 right now, and still FaZe are trying to cross the 50. Snakebite has to be cautious about those nades. When he throws them out, it gives Stellar the info <laughs> of where he's at. But Snakebite gets the people's <laughs> elbow in response. Just an absolute uh, beatdown over at the purple stairs. And it might be enough for a phase break as Renegade and Snakebite will be the last two alive and holding the ball. He ended up smelling what Snakebite was cooking right there. <laughs> Good points on the board for phase. They break the setup of Space Station Gaming and get it to one of their own, but they're not spawning over toward the Charlie side. In fact, SSG spawning Cafe, and look how quickly they move from Cafe over towards PD. I'm not sure FaZe were ready for that. Three down, four down go FaZe. Still two members up for SSG. They will get these C-spawns, so they'll have access to the cano early on. It'll still have to be another round of slays in order for Space Station to get away with that. And I believe Renegade just went for the steal, and yeah, Renegade goes dark. Well, he's brought to the light. Stellar ends up getting the kill onto Renegade despite him having the camouflage and maybe a bit of technical difficulties happening there. I I, I might have missed something. I was apologize. it just round one? I think I think it was just round one. <laughs> oh, I'm they so won. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, they just won so fast that we weren't <laughs> suspecting it. Wow. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does he have to waste a shotgun bullet? It just comes in, gets the elbow, gets out. Early start here for Space Station Gaming. 
It was Stellar that was a, uh, able to get away with that Bulldog, still having both a Snake Bite and a Royal 2 over toward the top Ivy side to deal with. And Stellar puts down that damage when he goes down to one shot, grabs a hold of that ball. Love, I love the idea of swapping ball out between members. As soon as you're one shot, take that ball. Allow your full shields player to, to be the shield, to be that damage dealer. Camo once again in the hands of FaZe, but they really haven't been able to do much every time they've gotten it, and it's been a quick trade-out every time. In fact, down doesn't even have to see the respawn screen, gets the elbow in, and FaZe spawning so far away. Space Station's just in such a dominant position. They can play a very free in this spot just because of how far away FaZe is. Expect to see Space Station be a little bit more aggressive on these plays. 41 to 0 run coming out of Space Station Gaming. What a start in round number two. Really picking up exactly where they left off in that round one. Now FaZe finally getting the kills necessary to be able to get a bit of ball time of their own. Roll two. An interesting spot here towards Tyrus trying to trust that audio. Here's Legend coming up behind him. Gets some good shots on him. Gonna now chase him down, but down to one shot he goes. Showing a bit of the moves, but Legend gets himself a kill. And what is this rotation coming out of Snake Bite and Phase? Able to get it into that back C. The problem is they haven't won the slays. They're gonna give up this C control and they're gonna give it up right when camouflage comes up. So ball not only in the hands of Stellar, but also the the position of space station gonna be pretty good to be able to got, get away with that camel like Bound did and be able to put more work in because of it. I, I think this is a fragile spot to be in for phase. There's there's just no way they can uh, feel comfortable with where they're at in this game. Three out of four members hitting the black screen for phase and Renegade just has to slow things down, wait for his teammate to come off a spawn. And while that happens, just watch time go in favor of Space Station Gaming, who already have the lead right now. We've just been playing near perfect Halo on you. Literally, I mean, all, all grand finals long, really. Off the screen, Legend was able to take down World 2. We do see two kills go in favor of FaZe, and that's only until Bound puts their Stalker to work. Double kill out of Bound, shutting down the push from FaZe. If he takes down the final player, he's able to do it. Everyone from Subway sent them back to the black screen. The spawning player in World 2 has to be the one to take him out. I sure that's Bound. I looked old ask. The way that he's doing some wizardry back there. I, I feel like we saw the reincarnation. Oh my, I, they're just playing at another level right now. Space Station, it feels like they can do no wrong. Down to one shot, Frosty goes, forced to back down, and the moment he does, Stellar takes space and <laughs> ends up running into a double grenade coming out of phase right there. Well placed. Frosty takes down Bounce, so a bit of a bounce back, a bit of a recovery now coming out of phase. It leads to a two down for Space Station Gaming. And now it looks like SSG, they need to really focus on getting the kills and the camo that's coming up in 10 seconds. Royal well, 2's trapped. Hmm. Dollar easily takes him down. And you see the spawns of phase all the way up ED. There's no quick route to get onto this camouflage. And it's a punishing blow from Bound as he gets behind those opponents. Even if you get the camouflage at this point, you're you're quickly running out of time for phase. You have to be aggressive. Move. Snake bite goes after that camo, but Legend is going after Snake bite. The hunter could be coming to prey at least momentarily. Now when he got his shields back, he's able to push back into the subway side. Frosty's already got a double kill, so Snake bite changes his focus over towards purple, eventually leading to a four down for Space Station Gaming phase they set up but it's gonna be have to be their final one one broken setup one three down and that's not only ending this round but also ending the game and it will be a 3-0 in favor of ssg snake bite's been slithering around this map for a little bit too long right now space station starting to fall into a, a series of unfortunate events as they need to get their car moved off the train tracks because right now phase is just gonna blow past them they have been slithering, but uh, Gryffindor's legend trying to make his way towards that commando side. He's already on that perimeter, and Renegade knows it. And in fact, he's able to attack him, but Legend still comes out with an individual pivot against one of the best.
players in the H. Yes, Legend. Still over toward the back seaside. Ends up going down to one shot. Snake fight finds the angle, but Bounce able to take him down. And FaZe are so focused in on the slaves right now that they really haven't been able to get too much ball time. This ball, they have to defend. They have to keep it out of the hands of Space Station Gaming. Spike grenades are going down. Roll 2 just got his shields back. Wins out against Ego. Huge. But ball gets reset. on its way back towards this base face it's just a giant game of keep away at the point at this point and all four players of space station are knocking on the door camouflage in the hands of stellar this could be it finds the one shot world two looks like the final seconds are coming in i don't see anyone from phase in a position to get the ball out of a bound and space station gaming's hands i said it before the series if there was one team that may just pull off the 3-0 i didn't believe it was going to be phase i thought it was going to be ssg <laughs> well see they can do another 3-0 we got a bracket reset